Hey guys, we're the Act Pants, and last year we sold our home in California and bought an RV to travel the US. Spend more time together as a family. And pay your debt. And so far it has been such an amazing experience, right guys? Yeah. What yes do you think? it is. We haven't posted on YouTube in a while. So I'm going to talk about what we've been up to for the past couple of months, where we've been and where we are now. So stay tuned. Hey guys, we have not been posting on here as much as we need to, but I wanted to come through with an update about what's going on with us, where we are now, and what we're up to. So the last time we posted, we were we just sold our old RV and just gotten our fifth wheel. Um, that's what I'm recording from right now. As you can see, it's big, spacious, and it's really been a game changer for us. Like, I mean, it just feels even, I mean, our RV felt homey, but this feels even homier. Um, and we just absolutely love it. But anyway, so the last time I recorded, we were with our, uh, my niece and nephew. We were actually in Florida at the time, and my niece and nephew were with us. And so uh, we left Florida, and the first place we went to, I had to write the list down because we've been doing so much travel, like, <laughs> it's hard to kind of keep up with it. So we left Florida, and then we went to South Carolina. And we spent some time in Myrtle Beach. We had such a blast. Um, and then after Myrtle Beach, we drove to Arkansas. We actually dropped off my niece and nephew um, at the airport, and then they flew back to California. And then Aiden and I and uh, Sylvester, we went to Arkansas. Uh, we spent some time in Arkansas. We actually worked with the Arkansas Tourism Board. So what we do, I know people ask you know, about it a lot. One of the things we do is that we work with tourism boards. Like, you know, like they'll invite us to a city or a state and then we'll go there and then we'll highlight like, you know, like the family friendly things to do. So after South Carolina, we actually had to go back to Arkansas. <laughs> uh, but it was fine though. We loved Arkansas. We had really fun. We visited Little Rock and um, what else did we visit in Arkansas, Aiden? Was it Hot Springs? Yeah. Hot Springs. Aiden's actually on this side. I'm gonna turn it around a little bit. He is doing, Aiden, what are you doing back there? Is it school work or are you playing? Playing. He's playing Minecraft. <laughs> Excuse the mess in the background. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we went to um, Hot Springs and we went to Hot Springs and Little Rock. So after Arkansas, we decided to head up towards Maryland. So that was our goal because we have family in Maryland and we wanted to get to like the East Coast in general. We just wanted to get out that way. So on our way to the East Coast, we made a stop in Indiana. We just made it to Indiana. Yay. Yay. We're going to be here for a couple of nights, so we're ready to check out the city. Me. You are? Yes. Are you sure? You don't sound excited. Yay. <laughs> Remember what Indiana has? What Indianapolis has? The biggest what? The biggest, I don't know. Children's Museum. Oh, yay. <laughs> Uh, we visited a friend there and the museum as well. We did a few things and then after that we went to Pennsylvania and then after Pennsylvania we went to Maryland. Today we are in Pennsylvania. Actually we're in Maryland. Are we in Pennsylvania or Maryland? Pennsylvania. And then we took a picture at the Maryland sign that's right across. Yeah. For there you can kind of see it. Hi Mario. It's me Mario. It's -a me. Uh, by the time we got to Maryland, it was about, I think, July or so. And Aiden actually had summer camp. Aiden went for his first time ever sleepover summer camp in Maryland. Aiden, come here real quick. Come tell me what you thought about. Um, so Aiden's right here. Tell me what you thought about your sleepover camp. That was fun. I just got homesick. You got homesick? Yes. So Aiden was there for, what, four nights? Yes. Four nights, and then he called us and he was like, Mom, Dad, can you come pick me? I'm homesick. Right? Yes. And then what happened the day we picked you up? The next day, what did you say? Remember what you told me? Yes. What did you say? I want to go back. You said you want to go back. <laughs> so Aiden was asleep away camp and then we picked him up. And then the next day he said, mom, can I go back? I'm like, son, no, you cannot go back. That's not gonna work. <laughs> so, but anyway, he did four nights at sleep away camp, which I think it's pretty major, especially for your first time. And um, he really liked it. He met friends. It had so many activities. Um, so that was in Maryland. And then after that, we spent about two months in Maryland. Like, that was a long time. So Aiden has cousins in Maryland, and we have some family there. So we just decided to stay there and have him spend all summer with them. But in between that, we also did some traveling. So in August, August was our anniversary. And so where did we go? We went to the Maldives for a 10-year vow renewal. And it was just... Honestly, like it just blew our minds away. It was so beautiful.
and then we, we also went to Dubai. So we did Maldives and Dubai in um, August and uh, and then in September, what did we do? Oh, we went to Kenya. You said thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> so scary. Okay, now you need to wash your mouth. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it raining? No, yeah. it spit. <laughs> your hands out. This is. So in September we traveled, went to Kenya, and then to Cameroon. Uh, we got sick for a little bit in Kenya, and it was a little rough in the in the beginning of our trip, but we ended up really good. My mom lives in Cameroon, and my dad too. So it was so nice to you know like go to Cameroon and see them. We haven't seen them in four years. I know that's a long time, but with all the COVID restrictions and all the visa and all that stuff, it was like really complicated. So I'm so happy that we got to go to Cameroon and. Uh, I got to spend time with family and Aiden got to see his grandparents, which was really nice. And then my sister, my sister would join us too. So I have a little sister. Um, I call her little because she's a baby, a baby sister because we have a big age gap. But um, she joined us in Cameroon too. So it was really, really nice for all of us to be there at home, like, you know, with our parents and stuff. Hey! 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 Your grandma, your auntie? And so we did that August and September. And then September, we left Maryland. And where did we go to Maryland? I gotta go back to this, cause look, we have done so much travel. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, where are we? And where are we going again? So after Maryland, we went to, we drove to New Jersey and then we went to New York. And then uh, my niece and nephew, Aiden's cousins, flew with their mom from California and visited us in New York, uh, cause they wanted to explore to winter, like Times Square. Aiden got to hang out with his cousins again and they just really had a blast out there and then they flew back to California after that. And so after New York, um, where did we go next? We went to Massachusetts. We spent a few days there. We did like apple picking and it got, it started getting really cold. And uh, we were originally going to head to Maine, but once it started getting cold, I told my husband, I said, uh-uh, I can't do this. It's getting way too cold and way too rainy. We got to We got to go back. Like we're done. We're done. So we did a flip. We went up through New York again from Massachusetts and then started heading down to California. So we went up through, we stopped in Rhode Island and Delaware and then started making our way back down. So on our way back down to California, <laughs> we stopped in Nebraska, we visited the family. It took us about two weeks and it was, it was a long drive. My husband, he just stepped out to run errands, but if he was here, he would be like, yeah, we did it way too fast. Like it was like sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up sleep, wake up, drive, sleep, wake up, drive. It was hectic, but we were trying to get to California as fast as possible. So we were trying to minimize um, how long we were staying in between um, at the different states. So on the way back, we stopped in. Hi, baby. What's going on? Oh, okay. So on the way back, we stopped in Nebraska, hung out with some friends there. And then we stopped in uh, Nevada, where we also met some other friends, spent a few days at Valley of Fire. It Levi, uh, his mom also, they, they're full-time RVers as well, and we all met up and had such a blast. Um, a lot of people think that with the RV lifestyle, you can't meet friends and people on the road, but you will meet, I'm telling you, we've made like so many new friends on the road that we've gotten super close to, like the family we met, um, the kids just had a blast. I need to eat in my eight-year-old years. Many people will think I have kids, but I do have a good friend named Levi! Levi! Levi. I'm nine. He's nine. And we've met up in Orlando, Florida. We've met up in Miami, Florida. Now we're in Nevada. Nevada. Yeah. We are. And so after Nebraska, not after Vegas, sorry, we came to California. So we are in California now. It's November. So we're going to be here for the holidays. We have family here too. And Aiden has cousins here too.
So we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Well, the weather is nice, so um, this is where we're gonna be for the next couple months. We will. We have a lot of trips planned, like out of international trips out of the country from California. So we'll stay here as a base while we travel, and then kind of just hang out here and just work, and that's about it. I know I talked through that like really fast. I was trying to get through like all the places we've been to. Um, it's so hard to keep up with YouTube though. I really try. I, I would say I post more on, um, excuse me, I post more on Instagram and TikTok than I do YouTube because like it's so much harder. I feel like editing for YouTube and getting all the video. So that's why I had to cramp this video up like so bad because it's been so long. Anyway, that's about it. If you have any questions or about anything about like RV life or about what we're up to, about what we're doing, let me know. I will be happy to answer that. Um, and just make sure you drop a comment in the comment section so that when I do the next video, I can have those questions ready out to answer you guys. Uh, let me. So now that I've talked about like all the travel we've done, I'm gonna move on to talking about all the really cool stuff that has happened to us um, from our last video, from the last time I posted. So we got featured by Good Morning America, which was, I mean, amazing. Like it was such a, a pleasure to be featured on there, talking about how much we've paid off. So since we started RVing, we've paid off over $200,000 in debt. Like when I think about it, like it blows my mind. We should not have been in that kind of debt in the first place, but unfortunately we didn't know better. Financial literacy, we're just now learning. And then we also got featured on CNBC, which was really cool as well. When we sold our home initially, we sold most of our stuff and we put some of our stuff in storage because we figured that we'll be back in a year maybe rent another place, buy another home. We weren't sure what to expect. So made it one year in the RV, and I kid you not, I have no interest in living at home. But that video was done when we were in our old RV, but they featured like, you know, RV life and how we're saving and just basically how we're living in an RV full time, which I thought was a really good, you know, way to highlight us. And then we got featured on Access Daily. So we got interviewed by Mario, which I thought was super cool because I'm a huge fan of Access Daily. Our next guest is truly living the dream. Her family traded in their hefty mortgage for an RV. They hit the road, Mario, and they never looked back. Now they travel around the country making money off nice. a very successful travel vlog. Good for them. Please welcome Kay Ockfan. Hi, Kay. Kay, I like your style. You look so happy. And, and uh, uh, now this business, I'm so intrigued. What prompted you to move your family into an RV? So we were just tired of like that, like, you know, like working to pay bills and just kind of drowning. So our goal was like generational wealth, spend more time together and then like travel the U.S. So I, we figured out the best way to do that would be like to sell our home and buy an RV and that would allow us to do that. I got it. So we really enjoyed that feature as well, kind of doing like an RV tour and kind of showing people how we live and what we do. Um, it's been so nice to be highlighted in that kind of a way because when we started RVing, I was looking for people that looked like me. Like, okay, do people that look at me RV? Do they do this? Are we gonna be fine? How are we gonna manage this? We have no experience. So being able to share, you know, like our story, kind of like how we've overcome everything, being able to pay off debt and being able to save money, I think it's such a big deal. Um, I don't know, for me it is. And so I am just so happy to be able to share that with people, with everybody, kind of like what we're up to. Um, again, if you have any questions about like paying up debt or about RV living, make sure you drop your comments in the comment section because I'm going to try to highlight that um, in my next video. Um, and I think that's about it. Mm, what else can I talk about? Let's see. Am I missing anything, Aiden, or did I talk about everything? I think you talked You think I talked about everything? So um, we're just hanging out. Like I said, we're in California right now. I am doing some work on my computer. And Aiden's, Aiden's right here. He has his laptop with him too and he's doing some schoolwork. So we're kind of just hanging out, taking it one day at a time and just happy to kind of be in the place that we are. It's been a long way coming from like where we started. So I am so thankful that you guys are here following me and I'm so thankful that you get to watch these videos and I hope they're helpful in some kind of way. Um, all right guys, well, take care. Hi. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Like Aiden just said, make sure you do that. We try to post on YouTube as much as we can, but we're not as consistent. But you can find us on Instagram and TikTok because we definitely post there more. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.